Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Norwood Planning Board meeting of uh, Monday, July 8th, 2019. We are in Norwood Town Hall, 566 Washington Street. We are in room 12. Um, all right, we got a full board tonight. Uh, so the first order of business is to approve the minutes from 617. Motion to approve. Uh, I got with one little typo, it's no big deal. And um, well, somebody can spell. Yeah, but, oh, I thought I highlighted it, but I guess I didn't. The, um, the letter from Tony um, Asco? Uh, Esco. Is that going to be incorporated into the minutes? It was incorporated. Uh, it should be, yes. Okay. It's on the back page. Yeah. Yeah. And who who does she quote there? Miss Hollywood. That would be me. I think we need to correct that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Mrs. go with Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> it's way it's better. Duly noted. We'll correct that from <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Hollywood to Mrs. <laughs> Homewood. <laughs> it's in the letter. It's in the letter. For the, the email. Oh, okay. um, all right. That's. Oh, so let's take a vote on that. Is, uh, is there a second, second to that? Second. Anything else on the minutes? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Unanimous for zero. Okay. 705, we have a uh, special permit application for the new spot location. Uh, oh. Perry is with us tonight, and um, come on up, Perry. And last time you were with us, we talked about the, the different signs uh, on the building and where you want them. And because of the in, uh, internally lit sign, uh, you had to come back for a special permit. And uh, and the one sign that we'll call the I don't know if you want to call it the parking lot sign or something. Patrick, why don't you uh, just give us uh, a, a, a little background on it from uh, where we were. Do you want me to read this first? Public notice? Um, yeah, it is, it is a public hearing, right? Yes, it is a public hearing. So, yes, please read the notice, Mrs. Okay. Hollywood. <laughs> I like it better. I think I'm going to go yeah, officially sure. change it, yeah. Pursuant to Mass General Law, Chapter 40A, Section 9, and the Norwood Zoning Bylaws, Section 6.2, Signs and 1 or 10.4, Special Permits, the Norwood Planning Board will hold a public hearing on Monday, July 8, 2019, 705, Room 12, Norwood Town Hall, 550, 566 Washington Street, Norwood. The purpose of the public hearing is to accept comments on the proposed internally illuminated sign in the Central Business District and a proposed secondary sign that is larger than allowed within section 6.2.16, permanent signs and businesses and office research districts. Really? Business and office or office research district. This request is for the property located at 95-105 Central Street. The subject pro property is shown on the Norwood Assessor's Map as Map 1, Block 6, Lot 16 and 17. Plans and supporting materials of the proposed signs are on file in the planning board office and may be reviewed during normal business hours. Debbie Homewood, a.k.a. Hollywood, clerk. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Debbie. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Perry, last time you were here, I think, uh, Patrick, we, we determined where we're at up to this point is the sign on Cottage Street is going to be considered the primary sign. Yep. And that complied. And that complies so based on um, the 5% of the tenant's facade okay. as opposed to the 30 square feet. So that, that we're not discussing that one. That one's already okayed. And then the, um, the, the spot above the door complied, except they're here tonight for an internally lit, correct? Well, that was going to be the secondary sign. Or why don't you walk us through? So. As you remember, back on I think it was on May 6, uh, Ms. Marcos came in and we had a um, we had site plan review regarding facade changes to the Central Business District. Um, the conclusion, as uh, Chairman Pukowski mentioned, is that we consider the sign on East Cottage Street as the primary sign, whereas the internally illuminated sign and the sign facing Broadway would be considered the secondary signs. Uh, as an internally illuminated sign, it needs to meet between the, with the board as for a special permit. Um, regardless, and 
the sign facing Broadway was exceeding the um, requirements of, and just to say it for the record to be precise, the requirements of section 6.2.16.4, secondary signs. So there may be two secondary wall signs on a lot, each relating to a separate building, entrance, or frontage on a street or a parking area. So the sign on Broadway is facing the parking, you know, big parking, parking area. area. Uh, each sign may have up to one square foot of, for each foot of length of that separate occupant's lease or own portion of the side to which is affixed, except that in no event shall any secondary sign exceed 15 square feet. The um, both signs actually do technically exceed second, uh, 15 square feet. By how much? Um, the spot sign, the internal illuminated sign, I think comes to a little bit over 20 square feet. And we had mentioned that if Mr. Marcus were to, was to follow the um, sign, sign, sign size incentive, uh, which is section 6.2.18, and this can be something that is a condition of approval, um, uh, that sign can be increased by 25%. So I think it comes out to like 18.5% or whatever that the sign can actually go, go towards. So 20 square feet is a little bit higher than what the sign size incentive would allow for. Uh, can you explain the incentive? So the incentive basically has eight criteria. Uh, sign area enclosing all letters, figures, or representation equals not more than 50% of, of the total sign area. All display letters are of the same color. All display lettering is of the same style. The sign, the entire sign background is uniform in color. Not more than four words or sets of numbers are displayed. Sign content is limited to identification of the principal use of the premises, inclusive or advertising or other information. Sign, size, shape, and placement result in no inter, uh, in interpretation to any building, no, interruption, sorry, to any building column, wall, corner, line, sill line, cornice, roof edge, or similar architectural feature. The incentive is not applicable to projects and is, project, is not applicable to projecting signs as defined in section 6.2.6. .6. Uh, this is not a projecting sign, it's so it has nothing to worry about. So basically, the way he follows it, he pretty much meets. All right, I think all at the, the, at the at our last meeting, yep. That we, we left it. I mean, we can all talk about it again tonight if you want. I think we left it that the board was in agreement that the spot sign above the door met the criteria and that uh, that, that wasn't an issue. So yeah. we'd only be talking about a foot and a half of square footage uh, to, to, uh, that we'd really be waiving for that s the sign above the, the door. Just on, on that, uh, is it just the we're just measuring the, the word spot, spot with the explanation, right? Exclamation sign, and that is uh, what is the dimensions there? It's how many feet across? How tall is that? So another thing with this too, and I actually might be uh, going a little bit ahead of myself. We also look at sign area as you know what the sign um, actually encloses. So the dimensions that were given are more or less. Uh, just get to it. I got 8 feet 10 inches by 2 feet and 4 inches. That's the rough area. If we're just looking about the area of the actual sign itself, that probably complies with the 15 square feet. Okay. So that might not even because it's not on a board. Again. Because it's not on a board, but also, I, you know, we had this issue once with, um, I think one of the um, businesses down in Washington Street where they had kind of a unique sign and. You kind of look at it what basically fits into either a box or a circle of the entire sign so you want to get as close as you can to the actual um wording as opposed to not, to not the sign so if the box if the sign itself were say you know it was spot and had a blue background you would actually just look at the letters of the actual sign itself of the business okay is that the so, spirit of the law, not the letter? Is so that what we're talking? The, I That's mean, in the definition section of the bylaw. Okay. Perry, why don't you tell us on, let's, do we want to, let's tackle that sign first, above the door? Sure. Um, so we, we're right, basically right there, right? If we look at it from, from the, si the signage of the, 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 the letters yes, in themselves. Yes, Yep. Okay, so we're not talking, we're not looking Major for Major deviation any, from Right, we're all. not looking for anything, and it, uh, in my opinion, it fits into the, the area 
you know, I look at proportions, you know, where it's going to be and the proportion to, the, to what it's on. And it looks fine. Perry, what about the lighting on that? Eternally lit. I think you said it's back, shadow box. Yeah, backlit, backlit right. halo lighting, they call it, too. So the illumination is coming from, from the back, back to give it a white, shadow. White, white, white it's like the lighting. dentist office at yeah. the, right. the old Bicknard Bank. Right, the old bank. Is so it gives the, it a shadow, more or less. Can, versus being a piece of neon, neon yeah. inside a plastic sign. Yeah, and the letters we've made out of metal. So basically, you're going to be seeing the light around Correct. the letters yeah. that'll highlight the exactly. backlit. Backlit. Is that on all the time, or is it is it natural? It, it, I mean, it'll probably go off after you know a certain time, probably to like up to maybe eleven o'clock at night, twelve o'clock at night. Yeah, there's no sense. There's no sense. You're wasting it all electricity all after that. Yeah. I mean, nobody really looks at Are it. Are you using the spot from the building you're at? No, the sign itself. Yeah. No. Is that one backlit? No, it's not. We have actually it's not lit at all. We have um, gooseneck lighting over yeah. that. Okay. So it's not internally lit. It's backlit. Correct. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, what Al's right. I think we, the, the that dentist office at the old Norwood Cooperative Bank on Guild Square, and I think it looks nice. It does. I, th I think it's it looks. It's, nice. real, it's it, it's modern. It's it's nice. It's not. Uh, it's refreshing. Yeah, it's not a a. a Plastic sign with a couple of tubes. fluorescent tubes in it. Uh, okay, I guess uh, let's go around. Is there? Well, we could, we'll talk about the sign in either, either way. Either the size, which I think we are right there. Uh, I, I think we're definitely there with the incentives, which I think we agree uh, for the size. But if you have any question or comment on that or the backlighting, I, I don't have much to add. I mean, like uh, we already said, it's very close to what we allow already. Um, I think it's attractive, you know, I think it's a good looking sign. Um, yeah, I don't see, I don't see a problem with that sign. Okay, Al, anything with that sign, particular sign? That particular sign, no, I think that's a great idea. It'll get good visibility. And uh, like I say, I think it's close enough to our requirements. Debbie? Well, on the on this, it says new internally illuminated spot sign. I like backlit, but I don't like internally illuminated. And it says new internally illuminated spot sign. So which is it? Is it backlit it's or backlit. is it? It's backlit. Why does it say new internally? It, that's the architect who drew that. That's what they originally suggested to do. Okay, so we'll and put in that it's not internally illuminated. And, and the new lighting across the top is bulbs like on Norwood Theater, right? Correct. Okay. Oh, interesting. And yeah, we don't have an issue. With we that. don't have That's an issue. He doesn't have to ask for that. He can so just do that. So that was something we covered in site plan review. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to specify that we're not internally illuminated. Yeah. Pat, I just make note of that, that in a decision, it'll be, it'll be uh, so backlit. Yeah. <laughs> That the, the, the you, uh, <laughs> spot the <laughs> sign would be back. Yeah, yeah, late 60s. Stay with the late 60s. It's I know all the rage now. Word, but it is. You know, who knows? So we're not, I, I don't because this, if you do all the things that we're specifying you do, I I agree we, we keep bumping it up, but it's in proportion with the building. It's a building whose time has mm. has come. Yeah. Um, may I ask one other question? You may. I have had an issue with the driving school. Yeah. And the now, sign is, that, is this related to the sign, Mrs. Homewood? Spot sign. Or is well, this? You know it is. You. Know, are you going to circle back to the sign? No, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll circle back. Okay. Well, because because we're going to get to that. We're, I, but but the reason that I'm next meeting. The, the reason that I'm okay with we've gone a little bigger on his head. Okay, mm -hmm. we approved that mm -hmm. before. We're gone a little bigger on the spot. Mm -hmm. Um, because we want. I think you're doing, I'm only speaking for me, I think you're doing a really nice job with the building and it's needed a facelift. Thank you. And then we get to Norwood Ass that's still up there? No, I, I had him change it right away. It's still there. No, I, it's changed. It was changed a few weeks ago. As soon as it was brought to my attention, I, I mm -hmm. told him to move it. So I mean, I've it, stood it in line classes. to get a bag all about it says, 20. This is classes mm -hmm. now. But he's not an easy person to deal with. Mm -hmm. So, so are you, he's going to be uh, your tenant? He, no, he's not. 
uh, coming next month, you won't be there anymore. So circle back. Okay. So circle back to the that, signs. That, so that being that being said, because we are going a little bigger, going mm -hmm. a little bigger, going a little bigger, because of the run of this building, we're we're going to have to you know, you're going to have two other tenants. Yeah. Are you going to say to us, I want to go a little bigger than two? No. You, I mean you can. Yeah. Is that circling back enough? It's fine. Okay. So we'll go with that. Okay. okay, Joe, anything on, on that uh, spot no, sign? I'm, I'm fine with the sign. Uh, I just, uh, since she brought up the tenants, have you got new tenants there? Well, there was a um, pharmacy who was supposed to move into the uh, old curtain shop. In the last minute, he got cold feet and decided not, not to sign the lease. But uh, I did approach a couple other businesses, which I think would fit great in the center of the town. Everybody's talking about his ice cream, cream place. Yeah, his ice cream. He hasn't signed a lease yet, but he's under agreement. What was the name mm -hmm. of the ice cream? Uh, Daddy's Dairy. Daddy's? Yeah, he has a place in Stoughton, Randolph, Brockton. Yeah. I was so excited about not having to go to CVS. Yeah, well, well. <laughs> he didn't well, want to leave cream. his job and <laughs> open up his own business, I guess. Yeah. Just right. Got cold feet. Right. Let's, uh, let's, let's hope that the ice cream... All right, anything else on that sign? No, I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm uh, happy right. with it. I think that it's great what you're doing. So I think that, uh, uh, Patrick, if you would just make that change when we do the decision on that particular sign, that yes. that's backlit and not it's internally lit, which is really what it is. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to move to the parking lot sign, and that uh, is, would also be considered a secondary sign, and that is a little oversized uh, as well. And um, looking at that wall, as I look at many, many times, uh, what was this? What's the size of that? That um, I'm look, we're looking at the parking lot sign. Yep. Parking lot sign is, I believe, about 70 square feet. 70 square feet. So it's it's about 55 square feet over what's allowed for a secondary sign. 55 square feet. Yeah. Over. Oh. Yes. Because it's a secondary sign. Secondary secondary sign. Sign. Do we know what the square? Now, I thought, I thought that we, no, I guess you, you're probably right, where that, where it's a corner building, mm -hmm. I thought that we allowed on a corner building to have a primary sign on each side. Now, I could be mistaken. I, um, it's probably a mistake. So that's kind of, yeah, one of the things for why they allow secondary signs. If you have a corner building or yeah. you have a building that faces okay. two, two or more streets. I guess, building. so that's going to be, now that, that sign will be similar to the, correct. It's going to be the, the metal, metal raised, off me, the brick. raised metal off yeah, of the, a few inches off the brick. Off the brick. So it's not going to be a, a fixed, it's not going to be a, a, no. a billboard. No. 70. Five seven by ten billboard. It's the, the background, the actual metal. sign is will be the brick itself. The brick itself will Correct. still be the background. Yeah. So it's basically laying on and, top and of the an brick. outline. An outline, not lit. No. Uh, I looked at that size of that building. So that so do we have a uh, height and width on that that sign, Patrick? The height and width. Yep. I think the height is probably the closer to the. About, so it's about eight feet six inches high with. Eight feet by three inches in width. When width, total width, right? Yep. But but you can see through it. Yes. So I looked. I personally, I mean, I was looking at that wall, and it's a pretty big wall. And uh, on the on the picture, it doesn't do it justice. The size of that brick wall. Uh, it it's actually you know longer. And I was the more I looked at it, and I said, well. I love this metal thing, this art versus a, 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 a sign sign. Proportionately, I think it would work. Uh, and, and the way the sign, you're going to be able to see through the sign, you're still going to be able to, you're basically going to be still seeing the brick. So it's not like you've got this wall and then you've got this billboard attached to the, to the, to the building. And you're still going to be able to look through it and see the brick. So I looked at it and, and I, I said, I don't have a problem. It's not a, a billboard, a, a 10 by 7 billboard or an 8 by 8 billboard. Uh, it's a kind of a modern thing. You see through, you see the bricks. So I don't have an issue with it. But we'll go 
Joel, why don't... Uh, I was just going to say, it is, it is different from anything we've, that I can recall seeing anywhere else. Uh, <coughs> where you have, it's all uh, a metal, and it hangs like that. It's, uh, it's quite different from... And it's going to come off a brick an inch or two, right? Yeah, a couple so, inches. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm, I'm and it's powder coated and made yeah. out of steel, so. Yeah. I'm just a little concerned about precedent. I do like what I see, though. Yeah. Let's see, I, I look at the precedent and I look at the sign and I say, well, it, it works and it's not a billboard. It's kind of like you can kind of see through it. It's different than where, say, on, on the Central Street side, or uh, Cottage Street side, where it's you're, you've put the wood behind it and the sign, and that's the, 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 that's the, the main sign. On, on this side, it, it's, you're really going to be looking at the brick with a, with a black outline around uh, for a sign. So, uh, but continue, Joe. No, that's all, all, all I have to say on that right now. Mrs. Holmwood. Um, is there going to be any green where all the leaves are there? Are you putting a sidewalk or anything? Or well, those, are, those are parking spaces. I think there are three parking spaces there. there yeah? Are, yeah. Yes. Parallel parking. Yeah, there are. It would be really nice to have tables there. But then you would have to put some type of pylons and stuff and some like get hit them. by a car or something. Okay. I think um, that's the that's still part. It's public space. Those uh, do you own those spaces? I think those spaces are owned by the building. Yeah, they're owned by the and building. Then there's a um, and I, then I, I think there's a, a, a private way. There's a private way of uh, uh, uh -huh. that cuts through. You mean? Yeah. I think that's part of the municipal lot. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I see. Yep. It's a right of way, yeah. but uh, I think it's part of the municipal. That's why I didn't know if those spaces it's an old were yours. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Would it be in, nice in to have some green and some tables in, there? in front of the building itself in the corner there is a nice brick area you know yeah that's you know, owned by the town it's not owned by you know but you can't private, put tables there you can put a couple tables a couple you know planters and stuff like that well he'd have to go to the board of board. selectmen for yeah. that for seasonal permit yeah you'd have to if you wanted to put tables outside that's board of selectmen's jurisdiction yeah. if you want to go onto the sidewalk or whatever yeah but he owns this he could he could still get rid of those still have to go to the board of yeah. selectmen Okay. I, I mean, again, what everybody said, it's precedent. We're going to get, well, you know, this, this sign is 55 percent? 50? 50, 50. Uh, yeah. it's, it's big. It's very, it's very... It's a, um, but it's proportional. It's it is. Proportion. It's very yeah. Che Rivera in Cuba. This is what those boys did on their buildings. But um, are we in agreement mm -hmm. that there's not going to be any writing on the awnings? No, no, no writing on the awnings. They're blank. Okay. And we're not going to put... Um, signs on the windows no no signs. can we have that in the um <laughs> can no, we have that in the in the what conditions conditions now there are some signs that are allowed the open and closed signs, signs tem temporary right. signs but they're not hours of operation yeah, things I'm not like cover that. the signs they can't windows. plaster them on the windows right they have to hang them from behind so it's not stuck to the windows right. so we say this every signs that have to come back they'd have permanent signs anyway. that have to come back so do you want me to go there? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Do they often put them on the door, you know, hours of operation? Well, those are allowed. Those are allowed, yeah, but are the allowed. pizza place across from McDonald's, they're plastered on the window. The yeah. the car guy, Mark Schubert, won't even let me in his office. Yeah, well, Mark, Mark is, whenever you, you approach Mark about any type of signage or any type of permits to over-operate over a business, he's pretty clear about how many signs you can have on the window percentage-wise. Mm -hmm. He does not want you to cover the windows up with signs. Well, I understand and that, but everybody in town that. does it. I know, but he's very clear about that. I under he's yeah. very clear. Yeah. But then he says, well, I don't have time to go yeah. around to every building that's got. Do you want me to name them all off? Yeah. yeah. Everybody he, knows which he, ones he, they he are. He specifically told me about the window signs. Make sure that I keep it with right. the code and stuff. What, what I'm saying is, I'm not comfortable going this high over our. But I, yeah. I agree with Ernie and the rest of the board. I think it's interesting it's on a wall it's not a big piece however the from my standpoint we're going over on every single sign because mm -hmm. we love what I love what you're doing yeah but I don't want to have to complain that now I've got signs in the windows signs on the awnings yeah, the awnings won't have any signs and nor the windows I'm going to have a clean look I mean that's purposely done by my choice and the rest of your guys have to live by the same thing uh, of the other tenants, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I can put it in their leases. 
Will you put them in? The, will you put it in their leases? I, I can put something in their leases. Can we make that? A that they make condition? sure they're there by code. They know? have to be. Yeah, you, you could put in that they have to comply with the code. I understand that yeah. everybody has to comply, right. and they're not. I think it's easier for me to enforce it. That's what Mark that, has asked me to do. Yeah. Make the landlords put yeah. it in their leases because he has more Work things signs to are do. Yeah. Would you rather, Debbie, that I I keep stairways open so people aren't killed in buildings, or do you want me to have the signs yeah. taken off the pizza parlor lot, when I go take the signs? It's a lot off easier for me to enforce it. I do agree. I will. So a condition, it. if 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 I am willing to back this, I'm not speaking for anybody else, because yeah. we're going over on every single mm -hmm. sign. One of the conditions is you'll put in your leases that the other guys cannot, and yourself can, are not going to put signs on the windows. Or, on the awnings. That's fine. I was going to say, the, I'm just looking at this, you have tenant two here and you have kind of a, a rendering of showing how the sign would be on the awning for that. Well, I mean, that, the other tenants, the other their, tenant. their awning is their sign versus right. so I mine. Say, I, yeah. I mean, That's fine, yeah. but we're giving you bigger signs and then you're not going to write spot on no. each one of the red signs? No. Okay. And this will be his sign or he'll maybe do a sign on his wall. But yeah, that'll be his prefer, problem. Yeah, we prefer to use his awnings as okay. a sign. So we could, we will definitely put a condition on there that says on the awnings for spot that they will not have writing on And that the landlord yeah. will be willing to put in his leases that they can't put signs on the windows. Mark? Per, per, yes. per code, whatever per the code, code is. Per right. Code. Per yeah. code. Yeah. Per code. Because they can put open and closed, and they can hang them, what is the code, four inches away from the window at some some amount. Okay. And there's, a, and there's, a, and there's a window, and there's a, how much of the window they can cover. Right, but they can't <laughs> stick them on the windows. Lucky. Nope. Pizza guy. Okay. Asses. Look, just, just, I understand I, I, that. Well, but I, I, I want to make sure you do, because I, it, they, they have a, they can go, and there's a percentage of that they can do on the twenty percent of the window yeah. total can be covered with, with a sign. You hang it. However, if you want to say it's going to be hung, that's fine. But they can you put, put some Windows kind of promote their extent. business. Correct. Right. Okay. It could be. I mean, I, yeah. it could be tastefully done. Someone yes. put something in the window. It look tastefully done. And someone can do it. It looks horrible. So I mean, there is a like a, there is a gray area which you know. Yeah. Right, but there's you can't. Have an, and I'm I'm not defending Perry, but if you're trying to rent a building and you have one door and a window, I mean you obviously want people to know what your business is and you want to be able to do, you know, have. I am willing to let them okay. have everything that's in the book. Okay. The problem is that they're not allowed by the book to go over your right over your percentage, and they're not allowed to stick them on the windows. Right. It's in our book. Right, so they when, can hang them from... Correct. Like when they, our uh, enforcement guy says, is this would be easier so for him if it was the, if the landlord were willing to be the one, he could just go to one landlord instead of five. I just want to read, so from section 6.2.14, signs, signs in all non-residential districts, um, point, uh, section three, window signs, in addition to the sign or signs allowed below, a window sign may be painted, attached, or placed on the premises. A window sign may cover no more than 30% of the particular window upon which it is mounted. So it's technically within the zoning bylaws to allow for window signs and no more than 30% of the win of that window panes. It doesn't area. say how they're hung. Didn't we get this? It gave you three examples. Painted, attached, or placed. Painted, attached, or placed. So it's not specific with hanging, sticking them on the windows. No. You could do some frosted glass sections. Yeah. Yeah. OK. And again, why hasn't Debbie worked on the sign bylaw? Because I haven't. Mr. Poro, anything on this sign? It is totally <laughs> out of whack, size-wise, but I like it. I mean, it just, it just I think it's, yeah. rounds that corner out. And when you stop and you take a look at it, Ernie, go to the, you're at the end of this building. It's, it's a blank slate, if you will. Yeah. You see that in the, and then you, what do you have next? You got that driveway up the back of the theater. You got the, you got the back uh, of the lawn theater. Mowers. You got the, <laughs> you got all that stuff. This is a distraction away from looking at that mm -hmm. to make this look good. Yeah, I think it's gonna look good. I mean, I just think that's this is a plus to the area, and that oversized sign takes 
some of that because it's big enough to grab your eye to look at it, Mr. Chairman. Rob? I, I, I agree with Al. I think it's an improvement of what's there. And uh, it's a, again, I think it's attractive. It's something different. It's, it's, it's got a kind of a new feel to it. Um, I like it. Brianna, you know, you, is this your last meeting? No, you stuck no. with me for one more. One more meeting. <laughs> <laughs> um, I agree with everyone. I like it. It's bigger, and it might set a bad precedent that you have to deal with, right. but take them case by case, and I think this looks really Absolutely. nice. Absolutely. All right, this is a public hearing, so I will open it up to the public if there's anyone that would like to. Yes, sir, please state your name and address. <laughs> David is out from District 4. For a second. I'm just wanted to congratulate uh, Perry for doing what he's doing uh, to the building. I commend the board for thinking a little bit out of the box and what's good for the for that area. I think it will be a significant improvement. Um, so I, I think it, 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 it's a great thing considering what we're all trying to do for downtown. Just a little bit of extension of that, but that's, that's great. So I, I commend you all. And it's Thank, you. Thank you. Okay, I think that's it from the public. Anything else from the board? Then I'll make, entertain a motion to close the public hearing. Mrs. Homewood. I, oh, go ahead. Uh, you were, well, well, we have go Mr. Selectman <laughs> here, maybe. I, I, the other day I was looking to sit outside because it's just beautiful weather. We have limited. Does and this I'm, have to do with this project? Yes. Okay. And I'm looking for an outside table, and Perks didn't have their table. And I, I had to go someplace else Do so I could sit outside. Are? And they didn't have their table. <laughs> table. Have their and table wouldn't up. it wouldn't it be nice Hollywood. to have those parking spots there with some green and some tables on them so we could have our hot dog out at the tables? He has to ask the selectman, right? Mm -hmm. Would that well, be something you might be willing to do? Ryan under the bus because mm -hmm. they're going to pass it on to the manager. who's going to pass it on to Mr. Ryan. <laughs> All right. Anything else on that? Well, he didn't answer me. What was the question? Would that be something <laughs> yeah, our applicant would be willing to we, do? We'd definitely to to like to look into it, especially <laughs> once the uh, the ice cream shop signs the lease. Yeah. I mean, we can have some common area sitting outside. Uh, I think that's. I think he'd be open to that, and yeah. I think that. Uh, that's one of the questions they asked me too. I don't was think the uh, ice cream places that would they be able to put some seating outside? I say wherever. We're able to fit it. We're able to fit it. Yeah, because nobody can parallel park, and it's always yeah, that fly. would be uh, not related to the signs. So we're gonna <laughs> wait for him down the road, and when Perry goes well, before I the board of selectmen to ask for outdoor seating, you can he go got to that meeting he and you can support him. Okay. All right. So I'll entertain a motion. One more, oh, one more Mr. question. Mr. On the Laurel. painting, are you going to paint the brick in the rest of the year, or is that going to be a? The, I thought it said a wood panel. The only where the brick gets painted is in the actual uh, the storefront, the actual where the doors are themselves. Is that gray? That gray paint. The gray it? paint. Okay. Whatever you see, like wood, is actual wood paneling. It is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's composite wood. Yeah. And like I say, on the side, there yeah, where the larger sign is. That's just the natural red brick that exists today. It's w the back, back part of the sign would be the actual brick itself where it is there today. Okay. Thank and the, the actual sign would be made made of metal. They laser cut it and they powder coat it and yep. it sticks about yeah, maybe two no, inches no, off the brick. It, okay. Can I just ask them? Is it from Super. Steel Art? Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's, we're working with them. We're trying to get it done through them. Both the, they, they specialize in backlit uh, letters too. So they do great stuff. They yeah, do. they do a nice yeah. work. Another Norwood company. Yes, right. Still open. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Sheehan. I'd like to move that we close the public hearing since this, we seem to have finished our business here on this. You want to second that? Uh, you go ahead. No, you. Oh, I'll second that. All right. Anything else on it? Motion to close public hearing. All those in favor? Hey. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. 5 0. Okay. Is uh, anybody, uh, are we ready to vote tonight? Yes. Okay. I'll entertain a motion to um, approve. Patrick, how do we want to word this? We're going to approve uh, the backlit sign on spot on the main entrance, mm -hmm. and we're going to approve, approve the waiver of, is, I don't, the, of the approve the, uh, the the square footage for the secondary sign facing Broadway. Broadway. Okay, that covers it. Beautiful. Where do we stand on the, the pharmacy sign? Is he going to have to come back again for that? There's no pharmacy. Yeah, but, but the layout oh. of that sign. Yeah. Oh, 
that's in here. So yeah, all all tenants had. So when the tenants will all have to, all come, back. Have to come back. Okay. No and yep. May I, Mr. Chair, that the landlord would be willing to put in his leases that that your tenants have to comply with the Norwood Correct. sign bylaws. Which is Thirty percent of their window space cannot be more than that percentage. Yes, so that the enforcement officer only has to call you and not go to That's fine. Okay. Beautiful. All right. And I'll entertain a motion to approve. So move with uh, the conditions we spoke of. Uh, it's the one one condition, right? That about the tenant no. would. Oh, no. Oh, the, the, the condition would be that the, all the tenants will comply yeah. with the uh, um, the design bylaws, the, section six point two. The, land, the landlord will convey to all lease. the tenants that they have to comply with yep. the zoning bylaw. Was there anything specific about the awnings on his buildings that you don't have any writing there? Um, or so that was mentioned by. I well, you wouldn't be board. able to because it, yeah. those would be signs and you'd have to come back again for those. So he couldn't put them there. Right, okay. Because that would be considered yeah. a sign. Okay. Second. Right. Second. Anything else on the motion? Seeing none, we'll put it to a vote. All those in favor? <laughs> Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Good luck, Perry. Thank you very much. I just have a question on the ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Are they have How many flavors? <laughs> How many flavors? No, um, is that the corner one where the... He'd be taking over. He wants the, the pharmacy. The well, pharmacy. And he wants a driving school, which is about 3,000 square feet. That's a lot of wow. ice cream. It is. It's, he's trying to make it into his flagship store. His largest store right now is... I think 2,500 square feet, and that's in Braintree. And he's trying, he thinks there's a market that large like enough the, here. Well, that looks like the best place in town. You got this concerts in the corner. Yeah. You got everything. Well, well Al, furlongs. He, he's, he, he, was, he, he was a customer of mine, and one day I approached him. I said, Would you ever be considering opening up an ice cream shop in Norwood? He goes, Well, that's our largest request in our other locations, is th them to open up a store in Norwood. So uh, we sat down, we talked about it, and we came to an agreement. and. Hopefully the police will get signed. When some of us were kids, there was an ice cream store right next to the, the, the theater, Furlongs, which is up on Route One. Oh, really? Was, I, they was, were well, once they were right next door. One uh, go over one more store where the hairdresser is. Yeah, I told him there was Ma Maddie's ice cream. I remember a long time ago. That she, was uptown. She, yeah, she did pretty well. Used to be Furlongs right yeah. next to the. Theater. Don't we get bagels and ice cream after <laughs> the show? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bring it in. All right, <laughs> good. That's it. All right, guys, Beautiful. Thank you. We're on a roll. Thank, thank you very thanks. much. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, thank you. Debbie, you have the hearing notice? I only brought my one. We've got two minutes. Is uh, yeah, the end here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. Okay. No. How we doing? Okay. Sorry, you didn't need it. We're going to call it 745. I didn't. That one. Hold on. Let me double check, Patrick. This is that one. I have Mark Ryan. I have Andre. Yeah, Patrick has one. Well, oh, no, no. I mean the one that you just read to Perry. Oh. I just give that back to him. Oh yeah, no. Oh, oh that one. Yeah, this is no, the no, public that's, that's the one you need to read now. That's the one you're gonna read now. I'm just oh. asking if you have the one from Perry's. Okay. You want that back? Yes. Okay. You just crumbled it up. Okay. No, time it's 745. We have another public hearing on um, a subdivision modification to Power Lane. Mrs. Holmwood, you can read the notice. Public hearing notice, Norwood Planning Board. Pursuant to Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 41, Section 81, Dash U and the Norwood Subdivision Rules and Regulations, the Norwood Planning Board will hold a public hearing on Monday, July 8th at 2, 200, 2019, sorry, at 745 Room 12, Norwood Town Hall, 566 Washington, concerning a modification to the previously approved three-lot definitive subdivision plan entitled Power Lane, which was filed with the town clerk on June 10th, 2019. The property owners and applicants are, one, Power Lane Development, LLC, Elena Lande? Lande? Landy, 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 three, CMM Ventures, LLC, Christine Moynihan, 
How do you say her last name? I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> De Virgilio? De Virgilio. De Virgilio. The location of the pro proposed subdivision is 261A, 263-265 Dean Street, and the land at the end of Power Lane. The property is shown on the assessor's map as Map 20, Block 1, Lot 1, Map 20, Block 1, Lot 4, Map 20, Block 1, Lot 5. The land is at the end of Power Lane. The applicant, the, where did I go? It proposes to modify the previously approved subdivision plan to extend Power Lane by an additional 90 feet. The subdivision plan and supporting information are on file at the planning board and may be reviewed during normal business hours. Debbie Homewood Clerk. Thanks, Debbie. Uh, so when we last met, we had approved the plan for Power Lane and then they ran to a little bit of a snag with one of the lots. Is that what happened? Two lots, yeah. At the, after you endorsed, um, the building inspector uh, let us know that he had a concern about the shape two of the lots uh, complying with the lot width provision of the bylaw. So the straight through kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. so I, I met with everybody, you know, Paul, Pat, uh, the building commissioner, uh, Mark, Ryan, to go through it to understand the building commissioner's interpretation. And uh, we had two options available to us. One was to extend the road and allow us to reconfigure the lot shapes. The second was to try to seek a variance with the zoning board, which we did, and they very politely said no. So. We are here. Um, essentially, what we have done is we used to have existing house, um, and then the cul de sac sat in here. So we had house, house, cul de sac, house. So, what we did is we had to extend the road another 90 feet, which still complies with your regulations, and we had to move this house over into this location. So, we have house, house, house now. Uh, aside from that, it's basically the same. Um, it's the configuration of the lot has changed, the location of the three new two-family homes has changed. Dan, which I'm sorry, do you have the what sheet is the uh, the one that is is the one that we approved in this? No. Okay. I, had it. I was looking for it, and I, I and it, I was. This is what it looked like. That days. was the one we approved. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just everybody can get an idea right, so of what this, this cul-de-sac slid down, and this house. Over here. Is going to now be on the left side of the cul okay, so for the majority. Two, instead of having house, cul de sac, house, house, we're going to have house, house, cul de sac, house. Um, but you know, otherwise it's all very much the same. So drainage, lighting, I mean, uh, uh, green, all of that is going to remain the same. They actually the wall, the retaining wall, yep. you'll have to probably extend it a little bit. Yep. I and mean, now all those details change a little bit, but you know the substance of everything is is the same. So we're sliding. You're just ex you're extending the road. Yep. And we're still at uh, what 22 feet of pavement. We had uh, 24 feet. 24 feet. Yeah, okay. We went down so from 26 to 24. 26 to 24. Mm -hmm. That was that was the reason we we could get a little some trees on the or uh, a. Uh, a green space next to us. Yep, we have uh, 24 feet of pavement. Which is Sidewalk fine. on one side, yep. grass strips, street trees, all of that. It is lot 2A, is, is that really lot 2A? Does that you mean go two? behind this? New, yeah. the new lot 2A? Yeah. The, sec the second lot in? This lot, yeah. Is, is that really the boundary line? Yes. Seriously? Well, we need, we need, need to square, have 15,000 square, square feet for the two family. So we had to add that tail to get the area. And you couldn't get a variance for that? To, I mean, I mean, it, you, I we know what you're doing. I, I, know, I know what you're doing. I, asked. I, I know you're grabbing. <laughs> I asked. Now, I actually like the other design better, and I told them that. You know, I did, what's the point of building an extra 90 feet of road? I mean, of. You know, Oh, absolutely wasted. I, yeah, I know uh, what you're yeah, doing. This, but is, this, this is how you. This is the this problem is how we, we get have where we are right now. Because we're we're grabbing land to to get the square footage. Correct. And it's it's too bad. Yeah, it's right. too bad that it has to be like that because it's dumb. I mean, it I is mean, what it is. It is what it is. Uh, yeah, this guy two way. He'll put a shed over in this corner. <laughs> 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 It's just going to be woods. Yeah, I know. You know? I mean, I'm just going to leave it as woods. Uh, 
So, I mean, Patrick, is there anything? Uh, yeah, I mean, me and Paul looked at it. I uh, discussed it with um, Matt Walsh, uh, uh, building inspector, just to kind of get a better idea of lot width. I mean, this is something, obviously, that uh, we, we slipped up on last time. So this is, you know, we want to make sure we got it right. Um, we, uh, I think I handed out today, we recently just got a memo from Mark Ryan, um, Mr. American also, uh, I think I forwarded that to you. Mm -hmm. Most of the comments on there, a um, few little see, tweaks. A few little tweaks, make. some stuff that I would, I would consider just making conditions of approval, um, nothing that's substantial. Um, Drainage that doesn't change, I mean, you'll have a little more impervious. We to add a sewer manhole. That or kind of put a manhole in yeah. to catch so the water at that end. We can do that. We have to give you a new set for endorsement, so we could just give Radius of the cul-de-sac is the same. Exactly. So the fire department, they're all good with that. Yeah. Yeah. Waivers just, being asked are the same as last time. So um, nothing fairly pretty much changed on our end. Uh, mm -hmm. I would also recommend having a condition of approval, maybe a sign-off just from the building inspector uh, to go with it. Just this was an issue brought up. By them. by them, so yeah. I think it would be warranted. Okay. And also, the you already said that the memorandum would be part of the condition. The five, yes, five yeah. items. Yeah. Joe, do you want to any comments or uh, questions about uh, the new the new plan? I thought the other one was fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, technically, it was not. Um, this is pretty much the same. Uh, except for the extension of the road. I, I don't see any problems with it. Could you explain to me what we missed? The lot width? What did we miss? Well, so the, the, on the old plan... Well, it, you have to be able to go s straight through. It has to be, the lot width has to be, you can't put in like pie shapes and so things like, for like this, that. For example, on this lot. Right. The, this um, isn't the one we approved. This is the one we approved? That's the one, we, one approved. we approved. Okay, yeah. so what did we this miss? This is considered a rear lot line right. under the bylaw. Right. 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 So I would not look at width as being from a front line to a rear line or a side line to a yeah. rear line. But that's exactly the way that it's applied. You know, they're basically looking for the shortest distance between the lot lines between the house and the streets. And if that's less than the 90 feet, that's right. lot width. It's more like a shape factor requirement. Yeah. Like some towns make you fit a circle, some towns make you fit a square, you know, that's tangent with the street frontage, and if you can't fit that, that creates a minimum shape for a lot. So all we have here is a paragraph um, that obviously I didn't understand the building inspector's interpretation of. But we have the width be from where the house sits. Didn't we? Yeah, but you don't. You didn't have it. So it, on it this lot, it was. It has to run all It the was the through. distance from here to here that the building commissioner objected to. Right, even though the house could be set back. And, and you know, we had the frontage and the house is back here and the right. lot's plenty wide at that point. And who objected to that? Who's the building commissioner? Building inspector, Mark. Mark, Mark. okay. Yeah. All right, so now he's got us doing this dog-like thing on both properties. Well, no, just no, this, one. this one just has the strip along the road. We talked about that, oh, that last one was time. There Somebody before? has to own that strip, Yeah. unless the town wants it. Well, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, did we change the square footage of the lot? Of the lots? Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. All the lots changed in square footage. Yep. All of them? Yep. Yep. So, lot two looks small. Nope. Lot two has fifteen thousand and twenty-eight square feet. Lot three right has fifteen thousand and fifty-three square feet. Lot four has all the extra land, so it has thirty-three thousand two hundred ninety-six square feet. Okay. So we missed frontage. Not frontage. No, no it wasn't frontage. Width. Lot width. Frontage. width. Lot width. It's, so a, it's, width. A, it's okay. a... All right. So it's hard, it's hard to explain, I, yeah. but it's, it, it's got to run the, the, well, the, 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 two, the two smallest points on the lot so and it has to run it? straight back. Because we looked at it and said it works, and, and we thought that it would work. I think we all agreed that you could very easily put the four houses on the previous... So this is... The zoning is in general residence. And within our bylaws, the lot required lot width through the building or structure must be 90 feet within the general residence. And so, as Ernie explained, that 90 feet needs to continue the building. So when you get into funky shaped lots, you know, it's yeah. a little And you see what happens, to the, the 90 feet of frontage if it was a rectangle, swings around, easy. see how it swings around <laughs> yeah, the, the yeah, cul-de-sac? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, they're picking up the frontage 
on the dog leg of the hockey stick because that's where they're picking up some of their 90 foot. And we're not allowed to do that. Well, you, you are, yeah. but you got to have. But then you got to pass the rest you gotta, of the you test. Pass, yeah. Yeah. Right, and it's like a two-step test. And and we couldn't we couldn't have done a, a hammerhead instead of a cul-de-sac. No, no, the cul -sac too long. Work. Changing Quite everything. Yeah, no, yeah. no. That would be changing your prior approval. Right. Okay. So basically, we're 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 accepting the the ninety foot. We're expanding the road by ninety feet. Ninety feet long. Ninety feet, and then the the new lot uh, square footage is everything. Oh, they have frontage. All still have frontage. So we're picking up additional shrubs along the way, or trees along the way for that ninety foot extension. Yeah, there's more street trees. Yeah. More street trees. Yeah. Al, you and your trees. <laughs> I'm hugging them dearly. <laughs> So nothing's changing from our other plan except we're getting 90 more feet of blacktop. That's correct. That's well, we do have less right. driveways, you know, lot. The third lot in and the fourth lot had long driveways, so those driveways shrunk a lot, so it's a little bit offsetting, so there's not, it's not like we tacked on 90 feet of impervious coverage on the property. It was a give and take. Okay. And I, 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 I don't remember, uh, other than I was going to go up there and hug trees that were big, have we... We've agreed we're staying with that agreement that you and I fought about last time. We didn't fight. The plans <laughs> stipulate that we'll mark out the limit clearing and that the engineering department will go out and look at it before a tree is cut to make sure, you know, if we have a tree under the boundary, if we can save it, we'll save it. Okay. That's all on the plan. Do we have in there that engineering has to take me with them? Is okay. that part of terms no. and conditions? <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, those were requested. What week are you going on vacation? What week are you going on vacation? Did I miss it? Or is, is there a need for the, the exterior wall to rise up some more mm. with the change in the layout? The retaining Which wall. Exterior the retaining wall. wall. Well, this retaining wall. The yes. south wall. Yeah. For conservation purposes, we had to pull back some of the work. We have riverfront aerial on the bottom here, so we had to pull back a little bit of work. So that retaining wall did grow a little bit. Yeah, this wall, you talk about this wall? Yes. So this wall got, I think it got a foot taller or something, 18 inches taller. Okay. Yeah. And so there's another point brought up by Paul in the memo, and, and Dan knows this, all retaining walls over three feet should have a fence placed above them for public safety. And that's so on that the details. Yeah. yeah, it's in the plans. Yeah. Al, you have Al, you got my question. And you're obviously going to have lighting and trees and it's just an extension. It's, it's unfortunate, but... Is there a street... Uh, that's a good question. I, I forget in our, our site plan review, is there street lights? Uh, we did one at the end. I know there's hydrants all, but is there a street light going down that street? We have a light pole here at the cul-de-sac. Uh, and we have one at the beginning. Okay. We could add another one if you wanted to. I'll leave that up to you and the light department. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's so that that would be normally they're what 150. They're usually two poles apart. Street lights, right? Yeah, two three hundred feet. Every hundred yeah. feet, isn't it? Every th no. Every other pole. Every other pole. Okay. So I'll let you talk to the light department if they want one. Sure. We'll put it in, but. Well, uh, have them confirmed. Yes. It's. Are we going to take this street? It'll become a public. Eventually. Thing. Then if we're eventually going to take the street, I'd like to make it a condition that he puts in street lights so we're not doing them on the town's dime later. Well, we are putting them in. It's just we a number. We are putting them in. It's just a number. But we have, we have another one? So you can just have one? a condition that will install as many street okay. lights yeah. as the light we'll department requires. Agreed. Okay. So yeah. he'll get, they'll get together. With and we're burying the, are we burying the uh, wires? Going down the street. Well, you guys want it underground, so yes. that's yeah. the requirement. Yeah. So off the elect, there'll be no utility poles. It'll be underground. Okay. Anything else from the board before, just before I open is, it up to the public? Is there any other extra challenge with the drainage now that we're going further? I'm not sure how the slope kind of looks. No, we just had to reconfigure it a little bit, but it's basically the same. Put another manhole in, another catch basin. And yeah, instead yeah. of we Run made a, instead of two rows of units, we made it three rows of units and just reconfigured it a little bit. But catching the the extra water won't be an issue for the your calculations or anything. No. All right, uh, this is a public hearing, so I will open up to anyone in the public that would like to speak on this. Just please state your name and address. Uh, 
my name is Aisha Grasek, 45 Whitewood Circle, and I was just curious, what are the um, stipulations that um, Patrick had mentioned um, there was a memo about what needs to be done? Oh, oh yeah, the so town engineer? Yep. Um, so there's five, um, five comments brought up by Mark Ryan, town engineer. One is to provide manhole access frame and covers on each corner of the infiltration field number three. One, a two was footing drain system on in right away should be built with stretch, uh, straight stretches of pipe and manholes at changes of direction. Uh, three, the sewer from sewer manhole one plus 38 to sewer manhole five plus 36 measures 418 feet, which exceeds the preferred 300 feet. Please provide a sewer manhole at uh, SCA three plus 50 plus so I'm not entirely sure of that. So a request, uh, number four is to request to work with the applicant's engineer to ensure that the grading in the vicinity of infiltration field number three makes the area maintainable and accessible. And five, make it a condition of, of approval that infiltration field number one and number three are completely and fully functional prior to roadway binder being installed. So these are all things that are minor changes and something that DPW is yeah. going to be on Primarily top. Primarily the town engineer, because, yep. of the ex because the road is being extended, he just wants to make sure that all the everything works. Yeah. You know, it, it worked before the old plan. We're extending a little bit. He just wants to make sure that it's it it, it works. So there's no issues, and and the engineer uh, has taken all of those on to the plan, and and they want it to work too. Well, so, yeah, it actually increased to 19. Increased from 18 to 19, so they are getting more trees. They're taking still down fewer trees. Yeah. But they still have to apply for a waiver because it doesn't meet the 20%. But. Is that what we agreed on, the one? What was that? Yeah, the original waiver was 18. Yeah, yeah. 20 required. I, I was able to increase it to 19 with this modification, interestingly enough, with the longer road. Really? Yeah. Why? It's just the way it worked out with the grading. I mean, we had to pull back some grading along the south side of the road, so that gave gave us a little extra. Okay. And also, is the retaining wall that um, but our uh, Whitewood Circle is that changing at all? We don't have a retaining wall, do we? Well, there was. I don't remember the old plan, but we have. You can walk up there. You you can. Step there's right up. A, there's no retaining wall behind. Is this your house? Yeah. There's no retaining wall behind your house. Okay. So now there's a wider band of woods in here. There's like 20, 25 feet of woods in here. Okay. There's a short retaining wall all, along these, behind these two houses and, and behind this house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They why had do a house a, behind there. Why do we have a retaining wall behind some of them? And, and well, uh, it just, it's up. a slope, so it's just to create a little backyard area, a little flat backyard. And nothing else changed on the street. That's all the same as far as Dean Street. That yeah. nothing's changed. Nothing yet. changed down there. So what's the overall length of the roadway now? Six hundred. Five ninety. Are we doing granite curbing? Uh, yes. You require granite curbing. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You require okay. that. Anyone else from the public? Thank Dave. You, Mr. Um, if you've already discussed this from the last time, my apologies. You had a time to oh. You already asked one question. And if this is going to be an accepted public street, um, it, are there requirements as conditions with regards to how the roadway is constructed, the amount of underlay, the amount of binder? Oh, yeah. Um, is that all? It's in the sub subdivision control uh, laws. I mean, the uh, our standards, standards for, sub for roadway. So it's all uh, cross it's sections. It's all inspected. It's all inspected. It gets inspected right along from... Putting the gravel and down, and base, base, base coat, yeah. And as you have done in the past, as far as acceptance of uh, public, are you requiring any type of bond until the, the roadway itself is approved? And yes. Yes. Okay. Um, also, uh, you, you touched on the lighting being underground. Is all wiring going to be underground? Yes. From the from Dean's well, from, from the Dean's pole. Right, right. There's an existing pole there. Right. It, that uh, the first house is not part of the project. And I think there's a pole there, right? There is. And that's coming off of that and then down. Yeah. Well, the light department will determine what, uh, yeah. which pole it comes off of, but it may come off of that pole or yeah. it may come off the pole 
yeah. closer to Dean Street. Yeah, the road the road is definitely built to, to uh, subdivision control standards, uh, inspected all the way through, uh, light departments involved, and where you know they'll determine, you know, the amount of lighting uh, and all of that. So it 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 goes through a pretty thorough process. Okay. Thanks. And if okay. the light department says. Oh, we want you to put up poles. You, you're, you're able to say to them, no, it's the terms of my. It's well, the light department has told me they prefer overhead, but uh, you have made it clear that yes. it is going to be underground. So that is what we. This is an ongoing, ongoing. Thing this is an department. ongoing battle. You see, yeah. I, I am, I am. Well, it's cheaper. At windmills. It's cheaper to Just go above ground. Down they can okay. repair them quicker, easier. Yeah. But okay. they don't get as damaged as much. Okay. Okay. Uh, anyone else from the public? Damages, no. Any other questions from the? Uh, Patrick, do we need anything? Do, uh, I, is, uh, do you need to go back and make any corrections to this plan? Well, my thought is if you could vote, it's subject to me ad addressing these comments with Mark mm -hmm. uh, and the other things that we talked about tonight, and then I can just submit a plan for endorsement. So, so far, endorsement actually. Yeah, I have three conditions of approval so far covering uh, Mark Ryan's letter, um, to receive a letter from uh, Mr. Schubert on sign off on the lot with. Just, just to make sure mm -hmm. that's all that's right, what, and yeah. to clarify the lighting with the light department, just to see if so. That's just all pool. boilerplate stuff, pretty much, yes. right? Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't see any other. Uh, Mrs. Homewood. Our our conditions we put in um, doing the CO before, right? We were going to put that in every. Yeah. We we're going to put that in every condition, even though it's something that. Absolutely. It has to be done anyway, but we were going to put it in our conditions because one of them kind of slid through the cracks right. before. Right. Mr. Domes. Condition. Yeah. Mr. Domes. Yeah. So we're going to make it a condition, a terms of condition, even though you're supposed to have signed off on everything before you get your certificate of occupancy. But we're going to start putting them in every one of our site plans. Absolutely. Okay, so and I'm just condition. asking that we do that. Yeah, yeah that's... Uh, Condition now for everything. And just to clarify, this is the modification to a subdivision plan. It's not so. Right. Just in case that gets. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, this that's right. Sheet. We should make that clear. This is a yep. mod a major modification to a site plan that was already approved, uh, versus a minor modification. That's why we have the public hearing. This is not a new project. Uh, starting from scratch. Starting from scratch. So we've already gone through site plan review and things like that. Um, if there's anything else, I will entertain a motion to close the public hearing. Question for you, though. Yeah. On that condition about occupancy. So there's multiple units here. Mm -hmm. uh, typically, they like to wait to finish pave the road until construction right. of the houses is almost done. So would that key to the last occupancy permit no. in the subdivision? No. So you want them to finish pave the road before the first unit gets an occupancy permit? Uh, that is not the condition. That is not our intent. Oh. Our intent was to have the uh, things like the land, like the um, site plan approval, right. inspected and stuff like that. What I don't right. We don't ins we don't we don't un ins require a subdivision to completely be done with top course and so all of that yeah. because right. it's impossible. Uh, you can't you can't make any. Okay. That's why we have a bond. That's, that's what why I was we have the, that's why we have the bond. That, that, okay, thank you. Nice segue. That being said, I'm sure this won't happen with you. However, fool me once. So, you won't come and ask for a bond reduction because the road's not done because I'm just going on record. We're not okay. going to reduce it. Plain and simple. Okay. I mean, There's typically they come in, in in bits, you know, yeah, if, if, they, do, come if they do $200,000 worth of work, they come in and ask for a bond reduction, right. and you guys have discretion to lower it or not within reason. Okay. Again, we've had this in another subdivision. I'm sure that we have to take every case as it comes, okay? And, and in order not to make the certificate of occupancy subject to completely finishing the project, which I think is unfair, all right? Mm -hmm. However, the road's got to be done properly, and to you know, we don't want to we don't want to be complaining about it. I'm sorry, I thought I did that on. We don't want to be complaining about it in two years. I'm sure that won't happen with you. No, no, I understand. But um, 
you should also understand this applicant's thinking about doing things a little differently. A lot of times with a subdivision, they'll go out, they'll build the whole road to binder and then post a bond. Because you can't start building houses until the covenant is removed. Right. Okay. This applicant's thinking about bonding the whole construction right up front so that they could start working the housing while they're building the road. So obviously if they have put a $700,000 bond up and they go out and they do a half a million dollars worth of work, they're gonna come in and ask for a bond reduction mm -hmm. to reflect the work that was done. But you still will leave enough money in that bond to make sure that the road gets built. Gets finished. This is all something we'll work out when we get there with Paul and, and Mark. Okay. Yeah, what's the value of the road? I mean, how much is oh, it going to cost you to Mark's run the I think Mark's last uh, estimate was 700000 so it'll go up. It's three quarters of a million dollars. Yeah. It's a big number. Um, and so an applicant has the option of either doing a covenant. Everyone does a covenant because it's, it's inexpensive. It doesn't cost you anything. dollars a foot. Mm -hmm. doesn't cost you yeah. anything. Mm -hmm. So, um, but an applicant technically has the option to either do a covenant or post a bond or do a, you know, an insurance bond, or do a tripartite agreement, or put cash in a bank account. I can do any of those things under state law. Everyone oh, normally just law. does okay. the covenants we like the cash. up front because the covenant doesn't cost the developer any money. They just go build as much of the road as they can before they're ready to start house construction. But any applicant could technically post the whole bond right up front. Okay, I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to figure this, I mean, again, I. Every case, case by case basis. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to, you know, I don't want to sit here and belabor the point like we did with another applicant, and then we didn't have enough money to fix the road and pull right. the concrete. I understand. The You're going to be conservative in your bond reductions. I understand that. Most boards are. How about what's a what's a what's a step up from conservative? No. Well. <laughs> Well, like I said, I mean, Debbie, if they put up... All right, all okay. right, I'm just First going all, on all right. record. We're not talking about a bond reduction tonight, unfortunately, you know. I, and and just so not to belabor, there are statutes that regulate bond reductions. Mm -hmm. And oh, okay. But anyway, that's... Okay, we'll get to that point when, if you have any issues with the development at okay. the time. Mm -hmm. um, there will be a bond posted, or one of the three ways that they can do it. Uh, to cover us on this, my my question tonight is, on the plan. Uh, we're getting ahead of ourselves. We're we'll not talking about bond reductions. We haven't even posted it yet, and right. we're, we're already <laughs> right. deciding how much we're going to reduce it by. Um, any bef before we uh, we have them close the public hearing. Do you have any other? What am I voting on to to close. change this? To close the public hearing, and then uh, and what, what we decide. The, the, then we would be voting on to change these lines to make the major modification Changes. to um, the definitive site plan of Power Lane. So it's, it's a modification, major modification, to a previously already approved. previously approved mm -hmm. plan. Okay. Okay. You want to. You, I understand. Okay. We're making a, taking a, a plan that was approved. I know. I don't like it, but okay. And we're making the right. major, that's why we're having a public hearing, because okay. it's a major, not a minor. All right. A minor would not require a public hearing. Got it. Got it. Okay. You good? I'm good. Okay. I'll end now. Mr. I'll Chairman, I'd yes. like to make a motion that we close the uh, public hearing on the major modification changes. Second. Okay. Anything else on the motion? Seeing none, we'll put it to a vote. All those in favor of closing the public hearing? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Okay, now on the approval of the major modification to a previously approved subdivision. I'll entertain a motion to approve. So move with the modifications that we have discussed. There are at least five uh, on Mr. Ryan's list. Why don't you just read the list? Or not, not the, no, no, just uh, the the, uh, the to, uh, basically for final uh, plan for endorsement that covers uh, Mr. Ryan's letter. Um, we received a letter from Mr. Uh, Mr. Schubert, the building inspector, on a sign off on lot width, and to the applicant to also clarify whether or not an additional um, light post is needed. Okay. 
with the light department. With those conditions, yes. Okay. Any, second. Second. Right. Anything else on the, on the motion from the members of the board? Uh, what, what does this take to pass? Is this a um, regular majority? Simple security? majority. This is a simple majority. Three, two, uh, three. Yep. Three? Yeah, you only need three? Three, two. Okay. Is there a motion to, did I get? We, we have a motion and a second, Mr. We have no, Okay, so on, all right, so the motion is to approve the uh, modification, major modification to subplan, subdivision, power lane. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? 4-1. Passes. Thank you for your time. All okay. right. I don't know, I like your plan. I don't, I, I've been fighting this doing these lines for years it's just a I understand it's it's silly we just have to we gotta do what we gotta do <laughs> you know? I know I know but the other one worked better thanks but again for your time well the other one did work better but yeah. uh, unfortunately uh, you need a variance from the ZBA I, and I, you didn't get it so right. that's why you try <laughs> I keep trying have a good night all right still still right. take care hmm? this meat is still wet <laughs> All right, uh, for upcoming bu for business, we have an endorsed site plan for 253 Manhattan. That's the... Uh, yep, I got that in the office, so I'll bring yeah, that for the end. All right, we'll do that at the very end. Department yep. updates and other business. All right, so I don't have a status update like Paul, but... Oh, uh, I love Paul's I know. memorandums. We'll get that for next time. Uh, <laughs> to go over. So I did get a letter from uh, Mr. Ryan regarding 862, 878 Washington Street after that was the um, the 12 units that we approved last time. And so this by the Rama. Rama. Yep. yep. So these were comments after the fact and I think if you remember we were waiting for a final sign off from him as well as Deputy Chief Margio. Did you have that and I missed that too? No, you just have I it. believe it was in the packet. If not, you can take mine. Oh, I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's been a bad day, couple of days for me. I'm sorry. So there are a few comments there, um, and this has been forwarded to uh, John Glosser, the project engineer, to incorporate that onto his plan for an endorsement. So that was all things that, um, you know, mostly deal with, deal with utilities that require kind of a sign off from Mark, and so. Those really impact the project from our end significantly. Um, but before we can endorse the final plan, those changes need to be made. So that was more or less kind of our sign off letter from Mark. Can I ask um, you a question? Yep. I didn't, so it's required a 24 inch wide trench drain. Is that something that we would have known about? Unless if you're an engineer, you would. Right, but he says the planning board require. This department recommends that the planning board require a 25, 24 inch trench drain. Yep. So he's recommending that we require them to have a 24. Does he want us to put that in the thing or every time somebody does this, he wants a 24 inch? Well, on this I believe particular. It's a trench drain anyway. Sorry. French drain or? A, oh, a trench, trench drain, drain trench is drain. for the, what's the trench drain? Just for the, for the runoff? Yeah, I believe that was in the parking lot. It goes, okay, so that's a, like, the runoff that's going to go into the sewer. So John will have to change yeah. his plan to make it a. He may have a 20 inch. Yeah. Okay. And, and so Mr. Ryan recommends it for this project, and I would agree with him on his uh, professional yeah. judgment. So that's something that should be incorporated into the final plan that we would endorse. Is it, this has been forwarded to John. Yep. yep. So he'll have to make the changes to the plan that incorporates Mr. Ryan's. Okay. A few ticks before we'll sign off on that plan. Those will have to be incorporated in. And I'll. And I, you'll remind us when we do the final thing. Yep. And so I need another letter from, um, or just a final sign off from uh, Deputy Chief Margio so I can just, uh, you know, catch up with him sometime this week to see if he has any other comments. Yeah, we did what he required. They, the why we widened the opening mm -hmm. on Washington Street. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually moved the, the, moved the, moved the pole. Yep. They moved Fire the pole hydrant. so they can open it up. And, it, and so he can get a truck in there, a, a bigger truck, if need be. Uh, so all that is done. We'll get Ron to sign off on that. We'll get uh, Mark's incorporated and uh, comments incorporated in the plan, and we should be good to go on that plan. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. I have one. Do you have another one? No, I have. I have, uh, when we were here and we had uh, Tony uh, and Steve Esco in talking about the tannery. Uh, I just want to follow up a little bit on that. Uh, I happen to be watching. God, what a life I have. I happen to be watching a ZBA meeting on, on uh, cable, and uh, the that the issue of uh, there was somebody that was at, applying for a business down at the tannery. I believe it was a gym or some kind of fitness thing, and and uh, and it, it, what it might have I been. They it, left. it it got withdrawn. Okay. Uh, but. Uh, Phil Riley, who, who I think the world of, and I mean, he, he well thought out and uh, made a lot of great comments about that. But the, it came up in the conversation at the Zoning Board of Appeals meeting that the planning board was looking at that the tannery as a, you know, what possibly if there's anything that we can do there zoning-wise or to make it so not every every five minutes somebody's running into ZBA to, to get a, a, a project done. So. I'm going to ask Patrick yep. what one of the things that, that they had, mm -hmm. which Jack Perry required and they got, is from the owner down there is they got an inventory mm -hmm. of every business that's there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to ask if you could maybe touch yeah. with Ramonda, Ramonda yep. and get that list. That would save us a lot of time and effort that we have that inventory so we know what kind of businesses are down there now before, you know what I mean, before we. Can look at it and say, oh, well, you know, I mean, ninety percent of it's retail, you know, or, or ninety, you know, ten percent is something, and you know, whatever. So if, that was it. I think that we should follow up on that that conversation we had with the Escos and look at the tannery, uh, and and uh, because it is a they. I don't know if you've been down there lately. They have done a lot of re striping of the of the. Parking, parking you know the, the traffic flow I mean they've got actually some big arrows and things like that but of course it's an old factory I mean there aren't sidewalks there aren't this and that so I mean maybe it, it the landlord if they want to put certain kind of businesses in there they're gonna have to put a few dollars in and put some sidewalks in I don't know but uh, if my whole point of this is if yeah. we could get that inventory uh, that the ZBA has that would be a big help and a time saver in, in going forward and looking at that the tannery can I ask a question on the board? When Mrs. Esco was here, I'm not sure that she doesn't want more businesses down there. She wants them to put traffic patterns, but it's the traffic going down her street that she's concerned with. Um, or is it the traffic um, inside the... Did any... Can I, what does what everybody guess? I... Uh, was under the impression that it was more that the, the they don't want this to be a 24-7 operation down there. Uh, you know, businesses open seven days a week, at night, you know, I, mean, uh, I, I think that was the, the, because the mill, the, the antique places are have three-day permits Friday, Saturday, and Friday, Saturday, uh, obviously some of the manufacturing, the auto dealer, auto mechanics down there, and some of the fabricators are Monday through Friday, and so it's a little bit of everything. And I think she just wants some kind of clear right, vision for that area. Either yeah. we're you know either something to get off the pot kind of thing. Let's 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 come up with a clear vision. Right, but the and zoning board keeps asking for signage and 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 arrows on the street, like you said they have. They just they the just factory, redid them within the last month, which I mean. has nothing to do with her street. So right. I, I think I, it's I, two we're not we're not two different, two different things. Okay, yeah. we I think what 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 we're going to do is we're going to take a, a look at the the actual what 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 businesses are down there, what what it's zoned for. And, you know, the businesses are changing today. Um, you know, manufacturing right. isn't, is not what it was when we, were, when we grew up. And, and, you know, do we need to change it? Do we need to, to tweak some of the zoning down there? And I think, I think it, it's to their point, it's, you know, we, should be, we should be able to at least look at it yep. and, and, and say, you know, it's okay the way it is or, or maybe this would be better. So I think getting that inventory of what yeah. businesses are there now is a big help because there are 
I was surprised. There are a lot of businesses down there. And I'm not just talking antique people. There are there are a lot of yep. in the back there. There are a lot of small little guys, small little operations and, and uh uh, I was surpri actually surprised. You dr I drive through there, but you don't realize how many are upstairs. Yeah. There's little, you know. Do they have much vacant, any vacancies? Or? I don't know that, Joe. I don't know what they have. I mean, some of those buildings in the back are old. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the, the front one is old, but you go to the back, and it's old. <laughs> There's a couple of wooden ones there that that uh, are are old. I mean, I was up in one of them years ago. The, the High school post prom has a warehouse up there, and and I mean you're going and you still see the nails where they hung the you know and the hair on the the, the hides are still I mean it's going going back in time. That's cool. Um, so that was my request. If you could get that, and we'll move forward with 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 that. Open lot storage. Are we discussing this now? We're waiting for this till later. We're gonna wait. Okay. Okay. There was something in here from the <clears throat> Zoning Board of Appeals, this UAVE LLC, yes. applying for a um, bituminous license, which the building inspector denied. So, do we know who these people are? Yep, I can uh, just set, shed some light. So that was um, a property came up. Uh, I think they applied for. Obviously, that special permit for an asphalt plant for the ZBA either last year or a year and a half ago or whatever. And so that project was denied. Um, it was appealed. Uh, the town won the appeal. And I believe they tried to appeal it again, but then withdrew. Um, it could be missed a step there exactly. This is up on University Avenue. Yep. Right? Yeah, um, I'm sorry. Yep. And if you remember, uh, at annual town, the annual town meeting in 2018, we was we had passed the uh, couple of bylaws By to pr basically prohibit all asphalt manufacturing, rock crushing, to gotcha. you know, to say the least, within the yeah. town yeah. entirely. Uh, prior to that approval at town meeting, the owner of that property did pass or did come forward with us with a uh, an approval not required plan to split his lot to yeah. freeze his zoning. So technically, um, I believe it's a year is a year now left. Uh, roughly to um, wait to bring it up again to bring it up again um, and so this is ZBA but this is just kind of something to you know have on your radar so uh, an a and plan so it basically freezes the zoning for two years and so like I said he, although we made the changes to prohibit asphalt manufacturing within the town um, his property um, being that it is in manufacturing no, it's limited, grand, limited manufacturing. Grand, I'm sorry. Grandfathered. Yeah, it's grandfathered in the previous zoning. Up until the time two years runs out. Yes. So but there was right. an over, over, overwhelming be. message sent it from town meeting. Yeah. Um, where, where the town wants to go on this. Yep. And I guess. Hopefully the ZBA will. Uh, go with that. Go with that, and but that's uh, that's on their plate. Yeah. One other quick, if I may, Mr. Chairman, the. Um, where are we at with the liquor store? I always call it Cappy's. It's not Cappy's. What is it? Called? Yankee. Yankee. So <coughs> I have not heard anything, and I haven't heard anything from Paul regarding um, that whole appeal. And the appeal. Uh, the, right. the appeal for and, across the street. And Paul I, sent I, me down there about the landscaping, and yep. we've got one piece done, and the rest of it is July eighth. Yeah, they've been working down there. They right, they, but I've been, he was down okay. there. This is. A month and a half, Paul said, do you want to go down and talk to him? Because he didn't want to, he wanted to upgrade from what we had. He came and talked to Paul. Yep. He said, we would, and, and now we just, I know we don't have mounds, we don't got the, nothing. Yeah, I know they've been working to complete the sidewalking okay. as well as um, the landscaping. I don't know the owner's intent, whether he, wait, he wishes to wait for the results of the appeal before going forward and Before and, finishing and the finishing landscaping in and July? The, and the building. Well, yeah. Doesn't have a tenant. Doesn't have a tenant or a CEO yet or anything. Now like I know that, I, so. I they've out in front of Honey Bake Ham. That looks were, nice. They've been planting like crazy out right. there. Right, but yeah. the whole other section. Yeah. They stopped right there. I went down and talked to the landscaper. He said I'd like to put in. So why don't we have Paul or Patrick yes. uh, get a hold and find out where we're at on that? Okay. And then if they, you know, if they. But Paul called me and asked me to go down. He wanted right. to put in deciduous trees instead of shrubs. Yeah. Remember, 
we went down. Paul said he would, if, and I would come to the board, and then everything stopped. So it's worth a phone call. Yeah. Okay. We'll call. We'll find out where they're at. Thank you. On the landscaping. Yes, sir. Seeing them around landscaping. Have you been down to your McDonald's drive-through, three-window drive-through, on no, Route I'm One so as you? No, I won't go there. Well, just take a ride by. I think they've done a very nice job in the current landscaping scenario. Okay. Yes, the McDonald's. After that fiasco, they've yep. cleaned it up ni they had nicely. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, the Wendy's is they've landscaped that and uh, they put a lot of flowers up in there. So, so. just for that, um, we did do a walkthrough last week of uh, I believe yeah the first last week Wendy's of the Wendy's and the BJ's property. Um, I, I, we were. Um, I guess we felt the landscaping was sufficient. One of the issues, though, before final, I guess, sign off was to um, remediate the problems with the the drainage basin. Um, I know Al Getz from the Conservation Commission has been, you know, talking to them about that, and they're aware of the issue right now. That's so. the slope, right? Yep. Um, behind BJ's, there's a detention ba or yeah. retention basin, um, and so that's not draining properly oh, right okay. at the moment. Um, their engineers in Boulder are trying to figure out what. And to the do. fence, what? going on with the fence? The fence is to continue. Um, we haven't heard anything. Okay. So yeah, we haven't, we haven't heard a final plan yet. I Going out so there, I know they want to continue it to so the he got his So he got his um, license to still sell burgers. Extended he still has the temporary. They don't have the final CO yet until they at least remediate the issues. You can have it your way. I think you're mixing your metaphors. And that's uh, <laughs> conservation. Handling that pretty much, Al gets Al, the, Al mostly, but it, it's you know it's still within. Yeah, it's going it's on the plan, so yeah. we'll just let Al fill us in. Yep. On where we're at. Okay. Anything else? No, go ahead. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, would you like a motion to? Uh, I would love one. Close this evening meeting. Then I'll make that motion. Second. All those in favor? <laughs> Aye. Good night.